Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, today's another one of my uh, little videos I'm throwing out there, going over a piece of my gym equipment. And today, as you can tell, we're gonna be talking about the Schwinn Aerodyne Evolution Comp. Now, there's not a whole lot that I know about this bike as number one, and the main thing is I don't know exactly what model this is. Uh, there's a few different models floating around uh, of these bikes and a lot of them look fairly similar. And trying to find out the exact year of this bike uh, is almost impossible. I have no idea uh, how to find, find out really unless I contact Schwinn. I've been looking all over all over uh, Google and uh, trying to find some information and really it's just all kind of all over the place because these bikes have been around for so long. Of course they've evolved over the years but the you know these bikes that <coughs> that look like this have been around for so long that it's kind of hard to tell what the heck I've got. But um, we can go over a couple of things that I know and uh, my reviews and such uh, of that. We can do that. All right, I got a few things wrote down, guys, just to kind of to help me out here. Now, of course, it is the Schwinn Aerodyne Evolution Comp. Uh, the, the model number, the serial number, whatever on the back there says AV200060. Um, you'll notice that it is air resistance. There is no uh, other type of resistance. It is all air. You'll notice the fan blades are curved. And as you pedal the bike, the curved blade is what creates the resistance. And the harder you pedal, the more resistance. Of course, it only can get so difficult because, you know, everything tap, it tops out at some point. So, uh, let's go over uh, roughly, this is just roughly, uh, the footprint is roughly 47 by 30.5 by 12. Now, again, that what I found uh, it could be this model or it could be another model. I have no exact uh, idea, and I guess I could have measured this myself, but you know us guys and our measurements, it's always off. Roughly the weight is 97 pounds. Uh, it is a belt drive bike, uh, which typically means quieter and less maintenance. It does have an adjustable seat. And they are numbered. And this seat, um, that seat's actually from my Raleigh bicycle. Uh, I took it off of there and put it on there. Fits fine. <coughs> um, I would show you the belt drive, but it's kind of hard to see off in there. Probably can't see it. It's going to be back in there. Kind of a little difficult to see, but it goes in here. Oh, you can see kind of the belt right there. It goes back there and just wraps around the sprocket back here. So it is. Um, it does appear to be quite durable. Uh, it, it seems to be made well. Um, I have used it a lot since I got it. I spin on it every single day, 30 minutes a day. Uh, let's look at a couple things, a couple more things. Uh, there is a place for a water bottle if you want. I don't really need a water bottle holder. I have a little table that I put beside of the bike while I spin and I put my water on the table there. So uh, it does have 
good size front wheels uh, for moving. It is easy to move. Matter of fact, let me give you a demonstration. You just pick up on the back here. And boom, you can roll it around. Uh, the user weight limit is somewhere roughly around the 300 pound mark and uh, that's pretty heavy that'll fit most people uh, and if you're heavier than that don't let that stop you find something else that you can do okay uh, it does have the arm resistance <coughs> and you can move the fan just by using the arms if you want so and if you do that, you can put your feet up on these pegs. So if you want to mostly just use your arms and let your legs kind of relax and really get in that upper body, you can move with your arms and uh, put your feet up on those pegs. Okay. Now again, this seems like a like it's constructed well it moves well yep. it's a nice thick metal arm here and the cranks are nice and metal uh, feel good um, yeah, it's a really sturdy, really good bike, and the computer does work. Uh, sometimes. When it's not wanting to freak out. There we go. Mm. Come on, turn off. There we go. Uh, the computer does work. Everything works on it. I, I did get it off Marketplace for a, a really, really good deal. Uh, it's really in immaculate condition. If I were to clean it up, wipe it down, it would probably look brand new. So I got it for $75. The guy was asking, I believe, $125. And uh, I just uh, sent him a message. Hey, you know, will you take $75? Yep. So uh, I made that deal. And I have put a lot of time on it, like I said. So if you're in the market for some sort of a exercise bike and you're wanting something different than just your typical uh, exercise bike where you're, you know, it's more like a bicycle and you're wanting something that works out your upper body a little bit. And uh, now you don't have to even use these. You can sit there and pedal without even holding on to the handles. That's what I do a lot. And I'm on my phone playing around or whatever, you know, playing solitaire or something. And uh, yeah, you don't even have to hold on to the handles. So, yep, if you're, if you're looking for an exercise bike, uh, I do highly recommend this brand and this, uh, style of bike. It's really nice. So, and, and they do go for a pretty penny brand new. So I looked out really good getting this one. And, uh, it is <coughs> serving me well. Schwinn, Aerodyne, Evolution Comp, and it does take uh, two AA batteries. So yeah, there you go guys. We're going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... I got a couple more things that I might talk about on my gym equipment. Nothing major, but uh, we'll see. So anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you find some good deals yourself on some gym equipment and use it, okay? Don't get rid of it. Use it. Unless you want to get rid of it cheap, then let me know, okay? 
All right, get up, get out, get rad, do it, do it, and we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible-list host. All right, see y'all later. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it!